right guys, we are walking up Wollonga Hill now. It is such good atmosphere out here. It's a beautiful day. There's a little bit of crosswind though. So the pros will uh, be fighting with a bit of wind coming up here. See if Richie Port can take another wind. It'll be pretty exciting. So I was only up here a couple of days ago with Phil Guyman. And uh, we're in the PM Nova car. And he was trying to do his King of the Mountain. Um, it was pretty windy when he did it. So uh, Phil, I believe, posted about a seven minute 29 or something like that where the best king of the mountain is done by Richie Port which is 6 minutes and 51 so Phil was a bit upset but um, he took it like a man and uh, he's looking forward to come back to Australia hopefully later in the year or next year for Tour Down Under with the Pedal Mafia and Nova boys and uh, see if he can try to get this king of the mountain up here He's damn quick, he did three efforts before he did his max effort. So three warm-ups up along a hill and then did his max effort. So very good effort by Phil. Not far from the top now. A lot of people, a lot of good atmosphere. <laughs> we'll see the pros coming through soon. in the break the breakaway and the peloton they know what's coming still 57 kilometers of racing to go <laughs> well, everybody's coming down and moving yeah down. yeah what do you say there's plenty of room. Yeah. You see two of the front, so if I can one millimetre away from the riders. Yeah. They're so close. Yeah. There's a mini SA rider. Who's gone? Four, Lucas, four, Lucas four, is on Woods, Will, of course I will. Lucas, Hamilton, yeah, buddy. Yeah. He's not stinking, I reckon. Oh, oh really? Yeah. He's oh, got... Mate, no, Lucas is still pulling empty, but he's back to Gap. So the Gap's empty. Oh, wow. Watch him here, he's caught the Sky Riders. Yeah. And he's, and he's he one kilometre to go, and he's got a slight gap on. Who's that, Richard Port? Yeah. Oh, beauty! Yes! Yeah! He's just got a gap on, but he's got a make-up for 20 seconds. The guy rider's huge on his wheel. Oh, wow. Here he comes. Watch this, man. Watch this. Go, Richard! Go, Richard! Go, Richard! Go, Richard! Go, Richard! Go, Richard! Go, Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh,
So Tour Down Under 2019 is over for another year. Um, sad face. <laughs> um, Daryl Wimpy took out the uh, overall leaders jersey for Tour Down Under and Richie Port took out the stage six in Old Willunga Hill. So he's definitely king of the mountain. Um, I believe it's six years in a row, which is crazy. He just destroys people up there. He just attacks and it's insane. Um, but he didn't beat his time, his best time, so his best time I think was 6.51, which I talked about in the last video. He did 7 minutes and 2. So it was very similar conditions when we went up with Phil Guyman, and um, a little bit windy and whatnot, but I guess the all-out lead-out from the peloton helps you get that little bit extra time. Um, over the two weeks that I had off, I did 520 kilometres, which is... Probably a record for me for the for two weeks cycling. I usually average about 120, 150 k's a week while I'm working. Um, so I'm really happy about that. It's a great achievement to be able to knock out a few extra kilometers. I'm back in the swing of things now, so I'm back at work. Ah, I do. I, I enjoy work. It's good to have some just normal things going on. Um, but yeah, this week I think I'll just relax. I'm just commuting to work. It's a day off today. Adelaide's still in a hot streak. It's 41 today, 45 tomorrow. Um, absolutely insane. But I will see you in another video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, peace out.